performed by Walton High School Chorus. So if you follow my channel for any length of time, you know I'm a Braves collector. And you know that Hank Aaron is my all-time favorite player. Um, and you probably have also heard me talk about this car, specifically 1956 Topps Hank Aaron. I know a lot of people have probably told you that that's uh, Willie Mays sliding into home, but, um, home plate instead of Hank Aaron. This is sort of a bonus card because you get two Hall of Famers for the price of one. But I've never bought into that. I've always thought that um, it was probably someone else. I agree, it's it's not Aaron. The build is wrong. The face is wrong. Uh, it's not Henry Aaron. But uh, I never have accepted that it's Willie Mays. And part of the reason why I haven't is because I've never found... Uh, the original photograph that this rendering was made from. Many of the other cars from 1956 and the Braves that I have, and but not this one. And, we, you know, Willie Mays was a star. Uh, so it, it should have been easier to find the image. But today I did find the image, and I know who that is sliding into home plate. And I'll tell you right now, up front, there are not two Hall of Famers on the front of this card. So... Uh, Let's look at uh, some of the evidence. Look at what I was looking at this afternoon and how I discovered who that player was sliding into home plate. Well, uh, I'll give you a hint as to the uh, player's identity. This picture of Eddie Matthews was taken the same day as that picture. Now, this is May 22nd, 1952. And in 1952, they were not the Milwaukee Braves. They were the Boston Braves. They would not be the Milwaukee Braves until the following season. In fact, they didn't even learn until shortly before spring training started that they were moving to Milwaukee. But in any event, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, certainly not a Milwaukee Brave on the front of that car. Uh, who is it most likely to be? I've always thought it was either um, Jackie Robinson because the, uh, the build, the stature of the person sliding was similar to, to Mays. The, uh, uh, the socks that he wears, uh, the jersey is more reminiscent of him. But I thought the, the most probable explanation was that it was uh, one of his teammates, someone that uh, Aaron was mistaken from. And uh, this is a picture from, I guess, 1953, could be 52. But these are six Negro League players that eventually reached the major leagues. And uh, three of them are Braves and three of them Dodgers. From left to right, there's uh, Jackie Robinson. That's uh, George Crow next to him. Uh, that's uh, Joe Black in the center. That's Sam Jethro uh, next to him. Roy Campanella. And last is uh, Billy Bruton. So of the uh, candidates for him to be mistaken from, from you know, his teammates, uh, I thought Billy Bruton was uh, possible I thought his build was not quite right. Uh, uh, he is built a little bit more like uh, Henry Aaron. Uh, his legs are a little thinner, but he was fast. He was a center fielder. Uh, I guess Aaron was a right fielder. And and heck, you can see him sliding in the home plate here on his '56 card. So it could have been this. It could have been just an earlier shot of this slide. Another candidate might be Jim Pendleton. He was an outfielder as well, though um, I don't think he played very regularly for the team. Uh, this is another card of Jim Pendleton. This is from 1955. The previous card was 1954. This is Charlie White. He was a catcher. I didn't think it was Charlie. His, um, his trunk is, is different, and uh, it, just, it just has different 
build and the person sliding the base. And I certainly didn't think it was Humberto Robinson. Robinson was a pitcher to begin with. So uh, though uh, they did uh, bat and run uh, back in the day in 1956, uh, or you know, as we now know, 1952 is when this picture was taken. They didn't do it very well, and they didn't do it very often, so it was highly unlikely. And if you just look at Humberto, he's definitely not the build of that player that was sliding into home plate. But I thought Sam Jethro was a really good candidate. Uh, Sam the Jet Jethro, as you see on the back of this card, Jet Propelled Sam is considered the fastest man in the big leagues. He, um, he led the league in stolen bases uh, his rookie season, and uh, uh, it wasn't uncommon for him to steal bases. There he is. Uh, uh, this, this, this is a Getty Images photo. Again, and actually this is where I found the um, original image uh, from the 1956 card. Uh, where that was based from is from this uh, ar archival website of uh, photographs and a fascinating site. Uh, here's another example of uh, Jethro sliding a base. In fact, I actually thought this might be a few moments after that picture was taken on the front of that 56 car, but it was not. Uh, I thought uh, one of the reasons why the, the picture was off was that it might be Sam Jethro um, as a pirate. And not as a brave. Uh, the uniform is very similar. Uh, I thought perhaps Topps was building him, uh, building a card for Sam Jethro uh, when he was traded to the Pirates, and uh, and perhaps suspected he was going to be traded back to the Braves and began to do something for to, to feature him in a Braves uniform, and maybe that was the dis disconnect. But it wasn't. Uh, it turned out that was just a coincidence. So, so who was it? Well, we're just going to have to look at the original image and here it is it is in fact Willie Mays uh, this is May 22nd 1952 uh, they've canted the photo a little bit in the 56 card but this is the same thing if we go out a little further this is the entire image so who is that at, at uh, home plate. That's Del Rice. This is the St. Louis Cardinals versus the, the New York Giants. He's sliding the home plate. Uh, Rice has the ball. You might be wondering, is he safe or not? Well, a few moments later, they took this picture. And it looks like he's going to be out, but he's not. He's actually going to be safe. If you look at Del Rice, he's got the ball. He's caught the ball, but it's in his right hand. And though he's hooked Mays' leg, uh, Mays will, will hit the plate with his foot prior to being tagged and he will be safe. This was a, um, a ground ball that was hit by, uh, uh, I guess it was Alvin Dark, I think is what I'm reading. And uh, rather than throwing to first and getting him out, they, they, uh, they threw home and tried to get Mays out. And so this was a fielder's choice and he was ultimately safe. But you're like, well, hang on. Uh, said that uh, there weren't two Hall of Famers in that picture. Well, there were not. There were three. Al Barlick, he is the uh, he's the umpire here. He's the one who ultimately calls May safe. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1989 by the Veterans Committee. So the card of Henry Aaron in 1956 tops does not feature two Hall of Famers. It features three Hall of Famers. And yes, yes, that is Willie Mays. So I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you later. See you.